<laughs> hey, what is going on everyone? It's me, Mr. Mario, and today I wanted to show you all how you can easily create PS2 classics to run on your jailbroken or exploitable PS4 console. So, this is going to require a few things. First of all, this is going to require a exploitable system. So right now, the latest jailbreakable or exploitable PS4 firmware out is firmware 4.55. Second, this is going to assume that you have the basic concept down of setting up your PS4 for the HIN payload and getting everything up and running and installing package files and all that stuff. If you do not know how to do that or you're interested in it at all, I am going to have my tutorial linked down below in the description and also somewhere here on the video itself. But this is going to assume that you've already done all of that to your PS4, so I'm not going to go that granular in here. But in order to do this, we are going to need a few other things. We're going to need a program, and we're also going to need a flash drive, a USB drive of some kind, and finally a PS2 game that we want to work with. So with all that now down, let's go ahead and move over to the computer here, and I'm going to show you all how to get your package file set up. All right, so to gather up the things we're going to need, we're going to need a PS2 game. I've also downloaded some photos of what I want to use for a icon, as well as a background photo. Now these are optional, but they're going to make your game look a lot nicer when you load it up on your PS4, so I'd recommend getting them. Uh, on top of that, of course, you're going to need the game too, which I'm going to be using black for this demonstration. Uh, now you're also going to need a flash drive or a USB drive of some kind and format it to XFAT. Uh, I know there's XFAT and FAT32 that work on the PS4, but as I've covered before, just go ahead and format an XFAT, especially if you're installing a game that is bigger than four gigabytes in size. And finally, we're also going to need this application right here, which the dark programmer ended up making, and he made everything so much easier and much more streamlined, so huge thank you to the dark programmer for all of his effort on here. I actually had another method that I was showing with how to do this, but it was so much more convoluted and took some more time and was just a bit annoying to do, but this makes everything effortless. So I'm going to have this linked down below in the description, and all I need to do is download the PS2 Classics file. By the time this video comes out, this might have been updated, but the steps should overall be the same. So once you have everything available here, right click the zip file and extract it so you'll have a PS2 Classics folder and enter the folder. Now once you come into the folder, what you need to do is open up the PS4 PS2 Classics GUI dot application and end up clicking install right here. Now with all that done you should have it set up and available there and I'm just going to minimize this but this is what your whole UI is going to look like and it's quite simple and easy to use so you can right click change what you want to on here um, you can go ahead and pick everything that you need on these settings and then file you can come here Go to settings, you can change a few other things if you ever want to. Uh, so this is going to be up to you, but for us, we're just going to be setting up a basic game package. So first of all, you need the PS2 ISO, which is quite important. It has to be an ISO format. So just click the ellipse button here. Navigate over to where your game is, find it, double click it. And as you can see, it brought up everything here. Now you need to populate the other fields. So for this, the NP title ID, it has to be something that's going to be individual. So for example, if I call this CRST00001 and I install five other games with that same ID, you might have some conflicts there. Um, and that will probably happen. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to give this a individual ID. And what I do is I just pick the PS2 ID. So I'm going to type in SLUS. 21376. That's all. And for the title, black. One word, easy enough. Now, to change all this, what you need to do is right click and select change background. And now you can pick any image file here. So I'm going to go ahead and double click on this. The nice thing is with this tool, you do not have to worry about converting your image to a PNG. You don't have to worry about that PNG being 24 bit. This will actually do everything for you. So as long as you get the image file, you're good to go. So right click, grab the icon. I'm going to use this. 
Now, just to let you all know, if you don't like how these work, because it kind of just sets these as default, like it squishes them and stretches them however it needs to, you can edit the photos yourselves and then upload them into here. That's fine as well, too. If you don't like this, for example, some people might cut off the PS2 logo and, you know, the ratings and such. I'm not going to do that for the sake of this tutorial, just to show you the ease of use here, but this is how everything should look. You have your icon, your background, your tile ID, your ISO, and your title. So now all you need to do is click Create PS2 Classic. When this comes up, go ahead and browse over to where you want to save the game. I'm going to save it into the black folder and press OK. And now wait for this to convert. So once it's done, it will say Convert Completed, press OK, and it's going to open up where exactly the package file has been saved to. So as you can see, this is the package file. It's going to be just a few megabytes bigger than the ISO itself because this is the ISO combined with all the configuration files and such that are needed to build a package. But all you need to do is grab this, copy it, and paste it onto the root of your FAT32 or XFAT formatted USB drive. Once it is copied over, all you need to do is eject your flash drive or USB drive, whatever you're using, and then you can exit out of PS2 Classic GUI. So just exit. Now go ahead, remove your flash drive, pop it into your PS4, and we're now going to install and run the package file. So now that you're over at your PS4, assuming you have everything set up properly, all you need to do is load up HIN. So I'm going to do this by going into the settings and user's guide as I've shown in tutorials before and I'm using the offline hosted version using the ESP board so if you're interested in this version at all I'm going to have a tutorial to this as well but all you need to do however you're going to run this just go ahead and drop the hen payload on your system and wait for it to apply and there we go so now I'm just going to go back out go into settings debug game, package installer, and install the package that's here. Now wait for this to copy over and install. So now with your game installed, check it out. As you can see, it is showing up on the home menu with everything else. That is our squished but lovely enough looking icon. And if you press X here with hit installed or load it up, as you can see, that is the background that we chose. And we're good to go at this point. Now, just to warn you all, this is a PlayStation 2 emulator. Yes, this is the nice and powerful PS4. However, uh, there are games that have been, you know, officially released as PS2 classics, which those should work for the most part just fine. Uh, but there's going to be other games that work perfectly well. There's going to be several games that have a few issues, and there's going to be a ton of other games that just don't work at all, and they will hard crash, and you just won't have a good time. So if you're playing some games and some are okay while others give you a ton of issues, that's the reason why. That's why you might run into that. Now, the only other thing I can recommend is down below in the description, I am going to have a link to a PS Dev Wiki article, uh, which is right now a lot of people who are compiling a list of games for the PS2 that work as PS2 classics on the PS4, showing what works, what doesn't work, and what games have issues, and what specific issues they are, even by region release as well, too. So I'd recommend checking that out. So again, you you know, thank you to all the people who have contributed to that, and thank you to the Dark Programmer for his tool to get this running up all nice and neat and easy enough. Anyways, this is Mr. Mario signing off. Thank you all for watching, everyone. If you enjoyed this video, a like would absolutely be appreciated. And if you didn't like it, a dislike is fine as well, too, because maybe you don't want to play PS2 games on your PS4. I have no idea.